Welcome back to Divinity Original Sins 2. Honor Mode Plus Run. Double the enemies, twice the fun, and uh, unfortunately only 25% of the XP. This is Maester Siva. We helped her and uh, she was so kind as to level us up. Great, because now we are level 10 which was very, very much needed. We're increasing the damage significantly. I want to go to maximum strength as soon as possible. And we're going for Warfare. Nearly 400 vitality now. Pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. So there we go with our tank. Um, so far the loadout is fine. We never really ran out of spells to be honest so might as well go with constitution. Um, he would, well he anyways had a new spell slot so never mind. Let's go with constitution. Aero's done. Uh, Geo is done, Hydro is done. Let's continue with uh, summoning because we still have four more points to go there. And we also continue with uh, Thievery. <clears throat> Our Ranger. Um, she has another memory uh, memorization slot. We're actually not in the need of anything else than finest. It's a very, uh, it's a very clear build, so might as well continue to build up for some more damage. At the moment, we're at one hundred and four, but that's mainly due to having a shitty bow. It'll change as soon as we get a really good bow. Losa, so many skills. I really like it. She has another. Uh, memorization slot um, and we will get even more skills for now intelligence all the way and we continue with hydro plus bartering good let's go and uh, check out the skills Saiken got a new one you know, we almost have all of the inter interesting ones. Um, I like the Burning Blood as well. That wasn't bad either, specifically to to create little piles of fire underneath them. That wish is also fine for even more damage. I like the idea of sneaking out of a combat. You know, that's appealing, so let's use it. In case things go sour, we might as well just flee. Um, as for him, we have uh, the full utility kit here. I liked the impalement thing, so that was actually not too bad. I was I was thinking in uh, whether or not I was thinking about whether or not to uh, even go with worn tremor, but all of these skills here scale with intelligence, so for him it's actually not so good. Um, rather use the skills that do not scale and that are, yeah, that are better. Uh, supercharger still is a thing. Could be used together with necromancy to uh, to to sacrifice um, the summonings even faster. I'm getting the feeling that he doesn't need all that many different skills now. Uh, we could go with winter blast as well, just for the um, just for the uh, crowd controlling aspect of it. It has a long 
a long cooldown, but it's fine. So yeah, maybe we can use it just to do some more crowd control if needed. Um, as for her, you know, she's going to get better skills very soon for um, because we are very we have we are lacking good hunter skills. Uh, so might as well just take rain. And I'm also thinking about giving her maybe two uh, maybe via items two levels of polymorph, so she has a little bit more um, yeah ma maneuverability. Um, we will get new eye skills for now. I mean that is okay. Consume frozen surface around you and converts it into magical armor. It's okay. Uh, we're seldomly using it because we have all of these skills. I liked uh, Uncanny Evasion. That was pretty good um, for the few times where we needed it. Um, we could go with a Bloated Corpse and kind of do that as physical uh, as a physical damage substitute. Oh, you know what? Let's do haste. Because actually, haste is pretty, pretty damn good. Why haven't I thought about that earlier? And we need to get um, uh, civil haste as well. We haven't uh, bought it. That is a shortcoming. So yeah, let's, let's get haste, which is a great buff for both of our um, uh, physical damage dealers. So you might fall into the same... Um, trap as I did when I first um, when I first like went into Act Two and think, hey, why not just progress to the north? Because it's a trap. Why not progress to the uh, uh, to the east? Because it's a fucking trap. And why not because uh, progress anywhere other than this area? Because repeat with me, it is a trap. The game wants you and almost forces you to go into this huge city here and do all of the story quests. Whilst there are advantages to it, like naturally, okay, you see a city and you want to get in. Cool, I do understand that. It also, uh, it still feels very, uh, very, um, yeah, set upon you or forced upon you. Wow. Well, can my computer please stop um, lagging? Thank you. Wow. Guys, I think I'm going to restart the game here. Uh, so we're going to do the introduction to the city in the next video. I, I want to make sure that this is not lagging anymore.